Oh, I didn't see that on my way in. How foolish of me. All right, Doc. Here's your stuff for the for the science fair. Fight for your right to party. Let's see. Does this send us back to the dump? Yeah, it sends us back to the dump. All right. Hyperion Station. Speed run this game, let's go. Yeah, um, that would require me to be good at the game, which I am most decidedly not. Plus, I've never honestly been interested in speed running, most because it involves playing games in a style that just does not suit me. When I play a game, I like I like to experience everything about it, and that's hard to do when you're trying to rush through it and complete it as fast as possible. That's not to say that I don't enjoy watching speedrunning or think that it's, you know, an insult to games. It's just it's just not what why I play games. I like to take my time. I like to experience things. Oh, it looks like we have side quests. Hmm. All right. First, I need to contact Blake. Hey, I've got a job for you. Here is my shop. Well, it isn't our little band of corporate raiders. Uh, you look like you could use a sandwich, sir. Good to finally get some face time with you. We at Hyperion have always valued our relationship with the treasure hunters on Pandora, so I know you'll leap at the chance to help us out, particularly since you killed our last team. In exchange for your assistance, you'll receive a ludicrously generous stipend, as well as access to the finest tech Hyperion has to offer. It seems the claptraps have begun to interface with everything on Pandora. Hyperion is, of course, blameless in the matter. Is it our fault that our hardware is too compatible? Still, out of the goodness of our hearts, we have developed a four-part containment plan that the boys in marketing call Operation Trap, Claptrap, Trap. With your help, I am certain this enterprise will be a fruitful one. Okay. Indeed, I do. All right, Marcus. It's a beautiful day on Pandora. Well, apart from the mechanical Armageddon. All right, so what job do you have for us? Burning rubber. Okay. Alright, so it looks like... The Sanders Gorge. Where's that? That's over there. That's no big deal. Well, this is right here in, in the Tartarus Station, so we'll just go and clear that first. There are more missions available at the Hyperion Tourist Information Board. 
All right, I will go check once this is done. Thank you, loudspeaker. Just do some quick rudimentary platforming. Bingo! Now to just awkwardly platform my way down. I gotta rummage through everything. It's just, it's the law of Borderlands. If you see something, loot it. If you can't loot it, shoot it. All right. Like shooting rack in a barrel. Okay, let's see, that's over in... Hmm? Uh, looks like that's over in the Sanders Gorge. Oh, it looks like we can pick up the parts here, so I guess we might as well do that first. No, I took that one. Hmm. My map says they're right here. Or maybe they're down under here. I'll find these things eventually, I hope. What, I can't jump up there from here? That's unfortunate. Sure it looks like I, I should be able to. Yeah, I'm just fumbling around, so why don't we come back and do this later? For now, we have stuff to do back at the Hyperion dump. So now we get to walk all the way back. There's that loading zone again. I don't know why it's been doing that. It's just, it, it hasn't happened before. Thank goodness for sprinting. It really cuts down all the backtracking that I have to do. Could you imagine if there was no sprinting in Borderlands? Oh, that'd be the worst thing ever. You'd have to walk everywhere. Who wants to walk everywhere? I don't. Looks like the bandits have all been turned into, uh, claptrap things. Well, I mean, they're still just as easy to shoot, so I guess not really that much has changed.
Wow, that guy had some good sprinting. Too bad it didn't save him from me. No, I want what's in there. There we go. Okay, so we gotta look for some tires. For oh, that's another turret. A turret trap. Cool. I'm not gonna argue with it. Oh, that sure looks like a tire. Easy peasy. Ow. Well, it's good to know that the various augments and improvements that the Claptraps gave the humans has in no way helped them at all to fight me off. That's a relief. Unfortunately, these guys are not dropping any Claptrap parts, which is a shame. Where's the next tire? It's over in that direction. Oh, that's an impressive looking structure. Or is that the same one? I think that was just the same one. Yeah, that was the same one from earlier. Oh well. It's still an impressive structure, though. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in being shot? <laughs> oh, this is the good life, eh? Just just a nice Saturday afternoon shooting people in the face. Way over yonder. Okay. Ow. Hopefully we can find some clap traps because I need some clap trap parts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just casually walk into cover. Dunce.
Oh, I can see a tire off in the distance. Oh, good! Finally, some claptraps to shoot. I was thinking we'd never find any. Yeah, what the claptraps make up lack in uh, individual damage, they more than make up in, in the sheer n amount of them. So, so try not to get swarmed. That's generally how you'll avoid dying to claptraps. See, it doesn't look like I could pick up anything else, cause. I have too many guns. Hopefully there's some bullets in here. Yes, there are! My guns were thirsty. I came this way last time. There's that pause again. Oh great, even the skags have become uh, trapped. Yeah, don't show me your critical hit spot when you do that. It's just bad manners. There's one more tire over that way. Nothing to it. Now, what's in the box? Nothing really of value, unfortunately. Oh well. No, we'll just go this way. Apparently that was his critical hit spot. Whew. That was close. Let's see, I just wanted to pick up some more ammunition. Hmm. Ah, now we're back over here. Stealth takedown. Because apparently we're playing Dishonored now. Can I jump on the house? Yes, I can. Well, that's a big, impressive structure. I wonder what's at the top of it. Darn it, another loading zone. And more clap traps.
Yeah, the Claptrap's critical weaknesses are the red, are their uh, beady red eye. It's kind of hard to hit, though, so... Don't worry too much about hitting them, because their health is really low. Apparently that one was just indestructible. Found a clapfish? Huh, they have some weird things on them. Yeah, just, just, just stop that. You're, you're only embarrassing yourselves. Ow. I'm um, still good. Do I have enough parts yet? Apparently not. Well, I found the tire. Hyperion Beef Eater Trap? Thank you. And there's just so many clap traps. Yeah, this is all part of my cunning plan to not die. Ta da! Well, I got all the clap parts that I need, thankfully. It only took slaughtering several... a lot of them. But I got it. Well, that was fun. Oh, it looks like there's still a few more. Well, I mean, I was going to let you all go, but then you shot at me. So really, it's just the principle of the matter that you have to die. All you had to do was not shoot at me and I would have let you go, but no, you had to, you know, try and kill me like you were programmed to. Alright. Well, I think that's finally all of them. Okay, I'm gonna go back for... Well, now we have to do even more backtracking. Lovely. It's these darn loading zones. I still don't understand why it's done that. It's never done that before. <laughs> 